सो हाई डियर लियो अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अर्नल अ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द लियो सन मून विनस राइजिंग Keep in mind, this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed. Also, third thing, this is a reading from today till uh, not today. This is a reading from twenty eighth of May till the third of June. So let's start. Let's start. Yeah. Thank you. Let's start. Your person's current feelings for you right now are let's see, Leo, what's happening. let's see we have the tower and the king of pentacles okay somebody feels like you are a very stable and mature person to be with or you have grown so much in your life so somebody is going through some kind of awakening here root awakening here in their life some kind of tower moment in their life so we will clarify this tower <coughs> you could be dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn <coughs> just give me a second let me have water okay let's clarify the tower Tell you, I feel I should take a break, or I think uh, if you guys are having cough, please take care of yourself. It happens sometimes in the reading. Okay, Page of Cups and Temperance and the Lovers card. Okay, somebody feels like suddenly out of nowhere, somebody feels like they should apologize to you, communicate with you, open up with you, and they feel like they have uh, like uh, they are patient enough. Okay, they can't be patient. Uh, they can't be any more patient in the situation, and they feel like they have to take the decision. or they feel like they have to come towards you and the ball is going to be in your court whatever you are going to decide uh, that uh, they are going to be agree with that so somebody definitely feels like okay this is the right moment that they should come towards you apologize to you communicate with you or start communicating with you again if you guys are not communicating with each other and they feel like they should patiently wait for your decision for whatever you are going to do about the situation between you and them wow it's kind of awakening kind of system suddenly uh, one day they are going to wake up and they are going to realize their mistake or realize uh, uh, that they have done something really wrong with you and they should uh, connect with you in some cases it could be a new person new energy like feeling like uh, somebody somebody is developing like suddenly out of nowhere someone is developing feelings for you and they are patiently going to wait for the time when you are also going to be attracted to them and then things can move, move forward so take it how it resonates with you if you are dealing with the, with the new energy this person is quite uh, in love with you or they have fell in love with you and they are patiently waiting for the right timing okay and if you are waiting for a past person or past energy you are still connected to them they are also realizing something here that they should apologize talk to you communicate with you and wait for your decision let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation right now leo in your life what's your take on this strength card you just feel like holding back and giving up on something completely although you feel like you are very wounded and you have uh, done everything that you could from your side and now you feel like okay might be i can give it a last shot but that to with a half hearted kind of approach but you feel like giving up on something or someone and holding back and staying in your power okay uh, let's clarify this is your card only leo you could be dealing with another leo here let's clarify the strength card here we have the 8 of wands 7 of cups in reverse and death card you are no more in any kind of confusion regarding the situation okay you feel like uh, you are uh, you are very very clear and honest what you exactly want out of this situation out of this connection and you are going to like uh, tell them very very honestly that uh, you are no longer confused and uh, you are, you don't do not want anything uh, like to do with them in some cases you are going to simply say them that you want uh, you feel like having more time and more space in the situation so that you can come back around whenever you feel like talking to them in some cases you are going to clear cut uh, like uh, tell them that you don't want them in your life anymore and you feel like uh, just uh, staying in your power and staying away from them so it's applicable in both the cases new person and past person both you feel like uh, there should be no more confusion in the situation putting an end to the confusion permanently and you feel like uh, uh, telling the person who serve you are connected with openly and honestly that this is what you feel and this is what you want and uh, staying in your power or uh, like after that sticking to that one uh, sticking to that decision this is what you feel like doing 
could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or another Leo. Let's see what this person wants from you. Okay, let's see. Leo, let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation? Eight of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords. This person wants to cut the crap, cut this uh, anxiety and stressful kind of energy and they want to come out of this mental jail and they want to come out clean and clear this time, clean and honest kind of energy. Okay, they want to stop worrying about the situation, constantly thinking about the situation 24 into 7 and come out of this jail kind of situation. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. This person's sudden realization is going to change a lot of things between you guys. Lot of things. Hmm. Queen of Swords, Hermit and the Star card. Yes, this person wants to clarify each and everything between you and them and wait for the right time when everything is going to be healed. And they want to remain hopeful and positive in the situation. If you are choosing to remain closed or, or closed off and detached and cold from this person, they are ready to give you time and space so that, he, that they can... Uh, Heal the situation between you and them and uh, they want to come out towards you with a clean and clear energy like you can say a clean slate. They don't want any kind of you know confusion or they don't want any kind of misunderstanding or miscommunication. They want a clean fresh start from scratch. This is what they want. They want to give you a lot uh, that much time and uh, space so that you can heal yourself completely and you can decide what exactly you want or what exactly you don't want in the situation. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Even if you are not, just go with the energies, not with the signs only. Let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation right now in your life. Hermit, you just want to think about this situation long and hard enough. You know that this is a situation that ended completely. And you want to think about uh, like, okay, whether you want to give it another chance, another shot or not, or whether it's done kind of from your side. Okay. You just want to think, you just want to your time and space and healing. This is happening with you from a very long time, Leo. And the same energy is continuing like from past four, five months. I think uh, uh, you have come to a conclusion, but you are not able to like uh, uh, take action regarding the conclusion. Or take a final action regarding the conclusion because I'm seeing the same energies again and again and again. Okay, someday they are like uh, in like in between they were changing, but now again you are on the same uh, track of thinking about it and not doing anything about it. How long you are going to do that? Let's clarify the hermit. Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, right? Yes, you don't want the same kind of, uh, you know, on and off, in and out and betrayal kind of energy, feeling left out in a situation. Even if you are in a connection or in a relationship, you will never feel like, you never felt like loved by this person. You always felt like this person kept you as an option or they were all like highly, highly immature. They were highly in and out of your life and they were, the, or they were simply uh, with you just for the sex kind of thing or for the money kind of thing. And you felt uh, deeply, deeply hurt and deeply, deeply abandoned by this, this person. You are having severe trust issues. So right now you want a lot of time and space to understand what exactly you want from this particular person and situation. And you want to have a stable and mature kind of re relationship and decision in your life. You don't want to settle for something or someone that's not going to give you this happily ever after or loyal or solid or truthful kind of energies. So you want to take a lot of time and space, you want to heal yourself and you want to remove all these negative kind of energies of on and off, in and out and trust issues and you just want to focus on yourself, your maturity, your stability and uh, your overall financial freedom in your life, financial growth. This is what you want. You want to stabilize your own energy first of all and then you want to think about what you want out of the situation and what you don't want out of the situation. Okay. Let's see what's coming towards you till the 3rd of June. From 28th May till 3rd of June. Let's see what's coming towards you.
king of cups and rivers a blocked heart chakra hmm i think uh, one of you is in still uh, one of you is in love with the other person and one of you is kind of done from the situation done with this person so i do see lack of loving and caring kind of emotions or and more of this cold and often detached kind of vibes uh, for something or someone let's clarify the king of cups and rivers cancer pisces scorpio energy you might be dealing with Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles, High of Pent. Wow. Somebody is coming towards you with a collaboration offer or with a partnership kind of a offer, but I think uh, one of you is denying that. One of you is coming to to like uh, towards other. One of you is going towards the other person with a marriage or commitment kind of offer, and one of you is denying that. Simply saying no to that because you are not prepared or they are not prepared or something is off. Something is missing from this relationship. So one of you is ready for the collaboration, partnership, and coming back together kind of energy, and having this happily ever after kind of energy, and one of you is not. Simple. This is what is happening. Somebody is coming towards you with the marriage or collaboration offer. It might be possible that someone new or someone else is coming towards you with marriage proposal or commitment proposal, um, and you are not ready for that new person or new energy also because you are still stuck on someone specific uh, in your life. and you are not uh, very sure about uh, the next chapter of your life so that why that's why you might be denying to this new person new energy <clears throat> in in some cases it could be possible like uh, you are going towards someone to have this collaboration partnership or happily ever after kind of energy of commitment or marriage but they are denying it because they are not sure about it so take it how it resonates with you but i do see a marriage proposal be like marriage commitment proposal coming and uh, rejection going on on that same on that same proposal rejection is going on okay might be because of a third party situation might be because one of you is still connected to someone else and that is why you guys are not uh, able to coll collaborate or come back together take it how it resonates with you i told you every story that i got from these cards these were the multiple stories multiple outcomes take it uh, take the one whichever resonates with you the most but i do see rejection of a proposal or marriage or commitment kind of energy Let's see what is the guidance for you people in this situation, Leo. We have the Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Page of Cups. You have to start loving yourself again, Leo. If you are always going to be stuck on this energy of betrayal, this energy of okay, I'm not, I'm not good enough. I'm never going to find the one for me. I'm always going to be betrayed. I'm always going to have trust issues. I'm always going to start going to be stuck on the same person or same situation forever. it's not like uh, that it's all in your mind so you have to start loving yourself you have to start taking care of yourself you should be your number one priority in your life first of all whatever you are hoping for from a particular person or situation in your life you st you should start giving that love giving that kind of energy and spoiling yourself yourself right <laughs> so self love self healing self care kind of energy should be your number one priority in your life and letting go of this limiting belief like you are not good enough or you don't deserve love or you are always going to be stuck on this particular situation is it's all uh, your perception it's all your limiting belief beliefs and negative uh, affirmations that you are doing daily with yourself you have to deliberately change these affirmations into positive affirmations and start loving yourself like uh, uh, you love someone or you used to love someone okay start with the loving yourself unconditionally and see things are going to change for you slowly but surely so yep this is what i have for you i hope it is going to help you so thank you so much for tuning in uh, leo i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste